Americans must know how the Chinese Communist Party is poisoning the well of our higher education institutions for its own ends, and how those actions degrade our freedoms and American national security. If we don't educate ourselves, if we're not honest about what's taking place, we'll get schooled by Beijing. The Chinese Communist Party knows it can never match our innovation. It has state-owned enterprise. It's an authoritarian regime. It is a government-centric focus. It's why it sends 400,000 students a year to the United States of America to study 400,000 students a year studying in our universities come from one country. It is no accident. The Chinese Communist Party deploys dollars just as much as it does cloaks and daggers to get its hands on valuable knowledge. There are many American scholars, often doing research funded by American taxpayers, that have been lured into the Chinese Communist Party's talent recruitment programs. The CCP pays them what is for them a fortune to do research related to their current fields for or in China, and then often uses the fruits of their brainpower to build its military strength. Students from China at American universities also live in fear that their families back home will be arrested, will be interrogated, tortured, or worse, because of the things they say in an American classroom. But look, the CCP doesn't just ta target Chinese nationals. They want to influence American students as well. Professors and administrators, too. Look, they know that left-leaning college campuses are rife with anti-Americanism and present easy targets for their anti-American messaging. That's why they planted Confucius Institutes on our campuses. And under President Trump, our State Department has made very clear these Confucius Institutes are literally up to no good. The U.S. Department of Education, over the last years, has found that schools have taken an estimated $1.3 billion from China since 2013. That's just what we know about. Like so many, like Columbia, so many schools that have failed to report the true amounts. What more? What more bad decisions will schools make because they are hooked on Chinese Communist Party cash? What professors will they be able to co-opt or to silence? What theft and espionage will they simply overlook? What business deals will get done as a result of that? But we need your help. We need help of students, we need help of faculty, we need help of administrations all across America. We need trustees to police their endowments and the deals their universities are striking with the CCP and CCP-backed groups. We need administrators to close Confucius Institutes and investigate what so-called student groups backed by the CCP money are actually up to on their campuses. The government will help, but we need people to assist us. We need researchers to be vigilant against fraud and theft and the academic community to reject the CCP's financial siren songs. The Chinese Communist Party has a mission set. We only need to listen to General Secretary Xi Jinping's vision for global hegemony and the capacity that he has developed to actually execute. He has capability and intent. Those are the things that present risks to Americans, so we have a responsibility to take on these hard problems to protect American freedom, to welcome citizens who want to come study at our universities from all across the world, but do so with an eye towards making sure that we do all the things that we have, are duty-bound to ensure that we protect.